Hello, everyone. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I am Daniel Goodwill, and I do not know how to set my camera, apparently. <laughs> no. We are from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwill. And over there is John Lewandowski. And our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Today, we have a triple show on tap for you. We have the Carolina Hurricanes and the Nashville Predators up first. All right. So as you said, we have the Nashville Predators and Carolina Hurricanes. Shots on goal in the first period. Nashville outshoots Carolina 11 to 9. In the second period, Nashville outshoots Carolina 17 to 10. In the third period, Nashville outshoots Carolina 9 to 6. And in total, Nashville outshoots Carolina 37 to 25. Now, at the face off circle, Carolina was better at 62.7% to Nashville's 37.3%. Carolina goes 3 for 6 on the power play with 8 penalty minutes, while Nashville goes 1 for 4 with 12 penalty minutes. Nashville out hits Carolina 27 to 17. They out blocked them 17 to 10. Both teams had nine giveaways. Carolina had two takeaways to Nashville's one. Scoring in the first period at the 950 mark for Carolina was Sebastian Ajo, scoring his 14th on the power play, assisted by Burns, his 10th, and Jarvis, his 14th. That was a deflection. Then scoring at the 15.08 mark for Carolina was Burns scoring his sixth on a power play, assisted by Ajo, his 19th, and Svechnikov, his 13th. Boo, oh, I mean, <laughs> sorry, the Prince fan in me just won't let that go. I'm yeah. sorry. Scoring in the second was uh, Gustav Nyquist, and this is where I won't let it go. Uh, putting the Preds back within uh, within one at the 118 mark on a backhand shot. Um, afterwards, um, he was hit by Svechnikov, and I was just not pleased with that at all. Um, then Svechnikov scores at the 344 mark, giving them a 3-1 lead. And then O'Reilly scored with an assist from Ajo. Uh, the Ajo's third. Okay. Second assist. Okay. So I was 20th, his second assist of the night, third point. I believe. Second, yep, yeah, one, two, three, third point. Uh, then uh, Ryan O'Reilly scores on the power play with an assist from Colton Sissons, his ninth, and Roman Yossi, his 21st. That was on a backhand, putting the friends back with him once. Then Jack Drury scores his fifth with. At the 9.56 mark with a backhand shot with an assist from Jasper Fast and Stefan Nosen, uh, Fast 7th and Nosen's 11th. Uh, then Seth Jarvis scores on the power play. It was a tip-in. Um, his 12th with an assist from Bunting, his 17th, and Ajo in 21st. That 21st point will give Ajo 500 career points. So... That's no small feat, as young no. as Apo is. Right. Like, I, I mean, as much as I don't like Svechnikov, I do like that fact that I give players where, the, the, you know, they do where it's deserved. Right. I'm fair. I'm biased yet fair. All right, Pitar, Pitar, Kochekov. Was in net for the Carolina Hurricanes, stopping 35 of 37 with a 94.6 save percentage. Well, in net for the Nashville Predators was UC Saros, who stopped 19, 14 of 19 with a 73.7 save percentage. Um, coming in in the third and relief was Yaroslav Askarov, stopping 6 of 6 in 16 minutes and 40 seconds of work. Your Iron Man in the game was Roman Yossi, who played 25 minutes. Ryan O'Reilly had 20 minutes. And uh, Nyquist and, uh, well, a lot of guys had 17 minutes. But uh, 
Oh, sure what did pretty good on the face off. No bag, not so much. Um, but uh, that'll do it for the uh, Preds. Uh, the season series is tied at one and one. So if we split it, that's the end of that. Um, the Preds are up again next with the Red Wings on Friday. Um, they play in Detroit, so we'll see how that goes. But, uh, to the next one, which is the Milwaukee Admirals hosting the Chicago Wolves. Really, Rosemont, but they say they're from Chicago. Hmm. Okay. All right, shots on goal in the first period. Milwaukee outshoots Chicago sixteen to eleven. In the second period, both teams had ten shots. In the third period, Milwaukee outshoots Chicago twelve to ten, and in total, Milwaukee outshoots Chicago thirty-eight to thirty-one. On the power play, Chicago goes one for two at twenty-one minutes five infractions. Well, Milwaukee goes one for one with 23 minutes, six infractions. Scoring in the first at the 538 mark for the Admirals is Fedor Svechkov, scoring his ninth, assisted by Adam Wilsby, his third, and Denis Gurionov, his 17th. Then at the 825 mark, the Admirals get on the board again with a goal from Mark Jankowski, his seventh, assisted by Igor Afanasyev, his seventh. Then at the 10.45 mark, the Admirals get on the board again with a goal from Cal O'Reilly, his fifth of the year, assisted by Dennis Gurionov, his 18th, and Kevin Gravel, his third. And then at the 15.41 mark for Chicago, Chris Terry scores his ninth on the power play, assisted by Vasily Ponomarev, his 13th, and Matt Donovan, his 20th. All righty, scoring in the second was Griffin Mendel, his second unassisted. Then Mitchell Van de Sample, his uh, first of the season with an assist from Nathan Soucis. Um, That was at the A42 mark. The Griffin Mendel goal was at the 202 mark of the second. Then at the 1521 mark, Rocco Grimaldi scores his 16th with an assist from Matt Donovan, his 21st. What is this? Admirals alum versus Admirals current? Mm -hmm. All righty. Then at the 1905 mark, Dennis Giriadov scores his ninth with an assist from Zach LaRue and Spencer Stetsny. LaRue's 12th, Stetsny's 6th. Um, then in the third, at the four minute mark, um, Kevin Wall pounces on a rebound uh, with his second of the season with an assist from Cal. Oh, Riley. His 10th, and Mark Delgado, his 10th. Then Dennis Giriadov scores his 10th with an assist from Mark Jankowski, his 18th, and Jordan Gross, his 6th. That was on the power play. <coughs> then Mark Jankowski scores his 8th with an assist from Delgado, his 11th, and Reed Schaefer, his 4th. Admirals stomped out the Wolves 7-4. Uh, your th three stars of the game were Fedor Svechkov with a goal, Cal O'Reilly with a goal and an assist, and Dennis Giriadov with four points. Yeah. Two goals, two assists. In that for the Wolves was Keith Kincaid stopping 31 of 37. Why they have it on Adam Scheel, I do not know. Um... And that for the Admirals was Troy Grossick stopping 27 of 31. Attendance at the Panther Arena, 7,684. That's with TSO downtown. Yeah. Man, I couldn't be happier. All right. Uh, your referees were Sean Fernandez and Jonathan Satarski. A.K. Satarski looks like um. Oh God, uh, Terry Koharski when he was young. Uh, linesmen were Greg Offerman and T.J. Lyle. Um, 
the eyebrows right now. Um are four and one against the Wolves this year. Um so not gonna complain. Yeah. At all. Definitely not gonna complain at all. Top five in points for the Ambrose right now is Teddy Skiriadov with uh, Gotta get the updated. <laughs> mm-hmm. He's got ten goals. Eighteen assists. So twenty-eight points. Yep, twenty-eight points. Jankowski with twenty-six points. Igor Afanasiev with twenty points. Joachim Kebel with nineteen points, and Zachary LaRue with eighteen points. Not bad. No, no, no. We might have some guys in the 40-point range. <laughs> All righty. So that'll give that um, on to our friends in the South. The Atlanta Gladiators playing in South Carolina, who have been nothing but a thorn in the Gladiators' side this season. Yeah. All right. Shots on goal in the first period. Atlanta outshoots South Carolina 17 to 6. In the second period, South Carolina outshoots Atlanta 16 to 8. In the third period, South Carolina outshoots Atlanta 14 to 2. In total, South Carolina outshoots Atlanta 36 to 27. Now, Atlanta goes 0 for 1 on the power play with 7 minutes, 2 infractions, while South Carolina goes 0 for 1 on the power play with 7 minutes, 2 infractions. Scoring in the first period for South Carolina at the 841 mark was um, Jackson Leopard, assisted by Cameron Kiley. Then in the second period for Atlanta at the 1234 mark was Jay Powell assisted by Reese Vitelli and Cody Sylvester. All right, scoring in the second as well is Benton Mass um, with an assist from Cameron Kiley and Jackson Leopard. Uh, then in the third, Jackson Leopard scores with an assist from Cameron Kiley and Ian McKay. It's Coach McKay. Uh-huh. Drop that waving for an ice to freeze or what? I'm just playing. <laughs> um, and then at the 1938 mark, uh, Ryan Liebold scores with an assist from Garrett Hunt and Jackson Leopard. Atlanta back in the loss column loses four to one. Um. Uh, Tyler Harmon in net for Atlanta, stopping 91.4% with 32 saves. Well, in net for the South Carolina Stingrays was Mitchell Gibson. Um, He stopped 26 out of 27. Um, also, congratulations to Andrew Lord and Everett Sheen on being named the ECHL All-Star Coaches. We are approaching that time of year yep. where the All-Star Games become a thing. Not that I really care about them. They're just this pickup game of shinny, if you ask me, but <laughs> um so all in all, um doesn't really hurt the Preds to lose today as everyone ahead of them, Dallas lost. Air uh Colorado and Winnipeg all lost. Dallas, Colorado, and Winnipeg all lost. Okay. 
So all the top teams in our division that are ahead of us all lost. So it's not like they gained any ground on us. And if they did, it was a point. So it's nothing we can't get back. Just got to show up better on on Friday against the Red Wings. We just have to. Yeah. Um, you know, one of the things I, I got to say it is Svechkov is just so talented for the Admirals. Yeah. I don't see him here much longer. Um, but other than that, um, before we get into uh get out of here, we got two things to say to you. One, for those that didn't watch our show before we went on holiday break, Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Because happy new year if y'all don't see us before Monday. <laughs> mm-hmm. So um Looking forward to what this weekend may bring. Um, there's talks of me being down in Rockford for the game on Sunday, so there's talk. Nothing confirmed yet. I will let, well, he'll know, but he, he, him. Uh, whatever side he's on, John will know first because he'll probably be solo that night. <laughs> Um, I apologize as it sits, but he'll most likely be solo. Um, mostly because he's not going to want to wait for me to get back. Wait. They play at New four. Year's, I'm up anyway. They play at four. Oh, yeah, it'll be fine then. Man. We're good. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I just have to pace myself then. And for yeah. whoever is drinking on New Year's, get yourself a designated driver or an Uber or a Lyft or something. Don't drive. There's a couch and a floor. Drink, right. you'll pass out on one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like true Wisconsinites here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but always be safe. And if you don't have a DD, just make sure you can find someone that can get you from point A to point B, wherever safety is. Right. Hey, if it's sleeping on a friend's couch on New Year's is not the worst thing in the world. Right. Matter of fact, it's probably a better thing. I know your bed is comfy, but those tickets are not. <laughs> so thank you all for watching. This has been from Milwaukee to Nashville's TED Talk <laughs> about drinking. Um. We will see you again on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, see you then. Get your ass.